math and science. In this video, I'd like to work on solving an inequality. Let's first go through the steps and then we'll work a couple example problems. First, it may help if you divide the problem into two sections by drawing a vertical line through the inequality sign. Next, you identify the operation in the given problem. Decide what the inverse operation is. Okay, inverse operation. And show what the inverse operation is and show the inverse on both sides. And then the inverse operation will cancel one another. Next, you calculate the value. Then you box it. And then finally, you need to keep in mind, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you switch the inequality, switch the sign. So let's work a couple example problems, put this into practice. Okay, We'll start with a very simple one. Um, it says solve each inequality and write a solution set for each, and then I'm going to draw a very crude number line. Okay, so we're starting with one pretty basic. We have r plus 7. We can draw a line down to the inequality. We have addition, so the inverse operation is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 7 from each side. 7 minus 7 will cancel. I'll bring the r down, keep the sign the same. And 13 minus 7 is 6. So it is r is less than 6. So that's the solution. R is less than 6. And the solution set would be uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, etc., etc. And if we put it on a number line, we would do, um, we'll go 6, 5, 4, 3. So it would be um, less than 6. And notice that the dot is not filled in, meaning that that is not included in the 6. Okay? So it would be less than 6. And remember, when the dot is not filled in, it means that it does not include that number. Okay, let's move quickly on to the next one. Now we have a negative number. So what we're going to do is we'll draw a line down through here. I'm going to rewrite this over here. My uh, negative m plus 313 is greater than or equal to 276. I'll draw a line down through here so you can see what's going on. So I need to get rid of the 313 to get the m isolated. So the inverse operation is subtraction. So these will cancel. And 276 minus 313 is, uh, let's see here, let me get will be a negative 77, okay? And so now I have negative m is greater than or equal to negative 77. Now, what am I going to do with this negative sign? Well, you can think of having a 1 in front of the m. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I will divide by negative 1. I will divide negative 77 by negative 1. And remember, when you divide by a negative, you switch the sign. So I will switch the sign. So this, these cancel. This becomes m. And minus 77, divide, negative 77 divided by negative 1 equals 77. So the solution is m is less than or equal. So I'll write the solution m. m is less than or equal to 77. So the solution set would be... 77, 76, 75, etc. And then on a graph, it would look like this. We've got 77, 76, 75. I'm going to draw the dot, but I'm going to color it in, and the arrow would go in that direction. And let's go ahead. I went ahead and skipped to number four. So let's work number four because it has a division. Okay, let's draw a line down the middle. And the operation is division. So to do the opposite, we need to multiply. Because you can think of this is a over 14 multiplied by 14 over 
1, you know, the 14s will cancel. I'll draw a dot for multiplication. It is greater than 26. And let's just keep it consistent. We'll do 26 over 1 times 14 over 1. So now we have multiplication. These two cancel, so we're left with an A is greater than. And now 26 times 14. So let's set that up. 26 times 14. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry 2. 8 times 2 is 8, which becomes 10. And then 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 2. So that's 264. So A is greater than 264. Okay, quick recap. The operation was division. So I use multiplication on both sides. And now I keep the sign the same uh, because we do not have a negative involved. So here's the solution, greater than 264. The solution set will be uh, 265, 266, 267. And on a number line, a very crude number line, we'd, ha we'd have 265, 266, 267, and this time I keep the dot open, telling me that 265, whoops, is not included. I hope that helps with solving inequalities. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.